Hey guys, today we are going to take a look at installing Python Diagnostic Tool on Windows 10 and uh, 11. We already have video on this channel. There's older version of this tool and it is not maintained anymore. So, let's get into it. We can start with official Billa page, where you can find all the useful information like supported cars, home to install the parent dependencies that you need for it to run and folder organization. This folder tree will be very useful later. This is where most of the people make mistakes while installing the parent. So what we will need is Python version 3.7 and known one. I'm using version 3.13 with no problems at all. When installing it, don't forget to click on Add Python to Path. We can go back to Pila page, go to code and download source code in zip. I will unpack it in my working folder and copy database files in there. When you look at the directory tree on GitLab page, you can see that we have to unpack the clip database folder. When you don't unpack the clip database, you won't see cars in Python application. This might take few minutes because there is a lot of small files. Now we can start the Python application. Then we can change the language of database. Yeah, port window in here we will choose all LM adapter later. You don't have to change the port speed, it will change automatically. I'm always using data logging, you will get CSV file which can be used for, for the examination of problems. You can open it Excel or VS Code. Start Python obviously will open the Python application. DDT is mostly used for coding some functions or learning automatic transmission, which we have already made video about. And the check ALM, which you can use if you want to know what is your adapter capable of. 
Now we are not connected, but we can open DDT and see if we have screens loaded. If you don't see the cars on the left, you didn't copy files properly. Now we can pay it all the well, go to the lab and with computer. Now we can go to Python folder and start the application. I have two bulldog ports available, so I will go and check ALM which one is connected. Now you can see available cars which you can choose from. When you choose a car, Biden will start to read available ECUs and you might see some blinking lights on your dashboard, but there is nothing to worry about. Now we have available issues which we can interact with. You can see and clear faults and you can watch live data. If you have a lot of data logging, you will be logging only the ECU which you open right now. To navigate the program, you use numbers. You will write the number and present it and uh, another menu will open to go back you will write Q and present it. Now we can check out the DDT screens. You can uh, select the car you want on the left side and then scan all the ECUs or you can scan only the ECU you want to open. So select the desired ECU and click to connect. is a uh, transmission control module for example and on the left side you can see all the available screens some of the screens are only showing some data but on some of them you can perform some actions for example I saw uh, some people enabling Android Auto and for example us we used it for a new TCM be sure to do some research before you go and do something because you may do more harm than good. So this is all for today's video. If you have some questions you can ask down in the comments and thank you for watching.